Welcome to our show, The China Briefing. Today, we dive into the latest headlines making waves in the region. First up, the Philippines has introduced two significant new laws aimed at clarifying maritime routes in the South China Sea, sparking outrage from Beijing. These laws are expected to challenge foreign shipping as they enforce newly defined sea lanes, raising concerns about potential escalations in tensions between the two nations. Philippine President Ferdinand Marcos Jr. assures that the legislation prioritizes safe passage and national security. Next, we turn our attention to the tech world, where ByteDance is stepping up its game with the Dobao chatbot, now boasting video generation capabilities. This exciting feature allows users to transform text or images into realistic videos, enhancing the app's appeal and solidifying its position as a leading AI tool in China. Despite facing stiff competition, ByteDance is rapidly advancing in the generative AI space, responding to market demands and internal pressures. Finally, we explore the mixed implications of Donald Trump's potential re-election for Chinese property investors in the US. While tax cuts and tariffs could inflate property prices, benefiting existing owners, new buyers might find it challenging to enter the market. Nevertheless, Chinese investors continue to dominate, spending billions on US homes, even as uncertainty looms over foreign investment regulations. With cautious optimism, investors are keeping a close eye on the evolving landscape. Please stay tuned for more detailed coverage. South China Morning Post, the Philippines has recently enacted two significant laws, the Maritime Zones Act and the Archipelagic Sea Lanes Act, aimed at defining maritime routes in the South China Sea. These laws have sparked outrage from China, which claims they infringe upon its territorial sovereignty. Philippine officials, including Coast Guard Chief Admiral Ronnie Gil Gavin, have indicated that these measures are not intended to expand territorial claims but to enhance navigational safety. The laws will require foreign vessels to adhere to specified sea lanes, potentially leading to tensions as international shipping companies adjust their routes. The legislation also includes provisions that could hold foreign operators accountable for damages resulting from non-compliance. As the Philippines asserts its sovereignty, Beijing has vehemently condemned the laws, warning of possible confrontations as the maritime zones overlap with its claims in the contested waters. South China Morning Post, ByteDance, the parent company of TikTok, is making waves in the generative AI market with its chatbot Dobao, which is now incorporating video generation capabilities. This new feature allows users to transform text or images into realistic video clips, showcasing advanced camera movements and artistic styles. Currently in testing for a select group of users, this development signifies ByteDance's commitment to solidifying Dobao's position as a leading AI application in China. The company, which has been relatively late to the large language model, LLM, game, is rapidly innovating to catch up with competitors. With the Chinese AI-assisted video creation market projected to grow significantly, ByteDance advancements in video generation technology may prove crucial in maintaining its competitive edge amidst rising competition from other tech firms. South China Morning Post, the potential re-election of Donald Trump as US president presents a complex scenario for Chinese property investors in the US real estate market. Analysts suggest that while Trump's expected tax cuts could elevate property prices, keeping interest rates high, there may not be substantial changes to investment regulations compared to the current administration. Chinese buyers have consistently dominated the US residential property market, spending billions annually, and there is a growing interest in investing in real estate despite the challenges posed by high mortgage rates and elevated home prices. Some experts believe that now could be an opportune time for these investors, particularly as uncertainties surrounding the election diminish. However, concerns remain about potential restrictions on foreign property ownership under a Trump administration, particularly regarding properties near military installations, leaving investors to navigate a landscape of both opportunity and caution. Australian Broadcasting Corporation Angie Postacogla, the manager of Tottenham Hotspur, has taken full responsibility for his team's lacklustre performance after they suffered a disappointing 2-1 defeat at home to Ipswich Town, a team that had not won in the Premier League for 22 years. The loss marked a significant setback for Spurs, who have now lost five of their 11 league matches this season, leaving them languishing in 10th place, 
far behind the league leaders. Poster Cogler reflected on the emotional roller coaster of the past week, during which he was honoured for his contributions to football, only to witness his team's dismal display on the pitch. He acknowledged the need for consistent performances from his players and admitted that their habit of poor starts in matches has been a recurring issue, with this latest defeat highlighting the challenges he faces in turning the team's fortunes around. The Globe and Mail, the proposed acquisition of Fission Uranium Corporation by Australia-based Paladin Energy Limited hangs in the balance as the Canadian government conducts a national security review, scrutinising the implications of Chinese influence in the deal. Paladin had initially hoped to finalise the $1.14 billion transaction by September, but the extended review has raised concerns over national security, particularly given Paladin's ties to China through its Langer Heinrich mine and its largest customer, CNNC Overseas Uranium Holding. Fission's biggest shareholder, CGN Mining, also faces potential fallout from the acquisition, as it would see its stake significantly reduced, leading to the loss of an offtake agreement for uranium production. As uncertainty looms, Paladin's stock has experienced volatility, reflecting investor apprehension amidst rising interest in the uranium sector, spurred by the push for clean energy sources. The Globe and Mail, in Japan, Prime Minister Shigeru Ishiba faces a critical parliamentary vote that could determine his future as leader after his coalition lost its majority in recent elections. Although Ishiba's Liberal Democratic Party secured the largest block of seats, he now leads a fragile minority government amid growing public pressure to address rising living costs and international tensions with China and North Korea. The opposition party, Democratic Party for the People, has positioned itself as a potential kingmaker, indicating that it will not support Ishiba's policies outright. With a series of challenges ahead, including the need to compile a supplementary budget and navigate international engagements, Ishiba's ability to restore public trust and maintain stability in his administration will be put to the test, especially with looming elections for the upper house next year. South China Morning Post reports that during the recent China International Import Expo, CIAE, held in Shanghai, U.S. agricultural firms successfully signed deals worth a staggering 711 million U.S. dollars, representing a 41% increase from the previous year. This positive momentum is crucial as it suggests that exports of key agricultural products like soybeans and sorghum to China will continue to thrive, despite potential trade tensions that may arise with Donald Trump's anticipated return to the presidency. The American Chamber of Commerce in Shanghai highlighted the importance of agricultural products in the bilateral trade relationship, with expectations of further discussions leading to even larger transactions in the coming year. The CIIE, which attracted thousands of exhibitors from around the globe, serves as a vital platform for fostering international trade relations, showcasing innovations, and reinforcing China's commitment to free trade. Amidst concerns over a potential trade war, the strong performance of American agricultural exports at the Expo signals a positive outlook for trade ties between the two nations. South China Morning Post features an insightful interview with economist Huang Yiping, who discusses the implications of a potential second Trump administration on China's economic strategy. He suggests that China should bolster its fiscal policies to alleviate the financial pressures faced by local governments, which have struggled to implement growth measures due to their dire financial situations. Huang advocates for a Chinese Marshall Plan aimed at supporting developing nations in their green transitions, leveraging China's capabilities in renewable technologies and investment. This initiative not only seeks to address China's trade surplus but also positions the country as a leader in global green development, fostering mutually beneficial relationships with other nations. As China navigates the challenges posed by trade tensions and domestic economic pressures, Huang emphasizes the need for a coordinated approach between fiscal and monetary policies to ensure sustainable growth and stability in the face of potential deflationary risks. Thank you for tuning in. The content above showcases the latest briefing reports and analytical synopses, thoughtfully curated by the 6DO team. These insights stem from a wide array of reputable media outlets, think tanks, government sources, and specialized experts worldwide. We encourage you to explore these sources for a comprehensive perspective. Keep in mind that while the content may not always align with the official standpoint of 6DO Brief, it's not meant to be taken as absolute directives for decision-making.
comprising seasoned media professionals, learned scholars, and accomplished scientists, the 6DO team embodies a trailblazing, fully independent media entity. To customize 6DO Brief to meet your professional needs, you have the option to subscribe to a diverse array of briefings on our website, 6dobrief.com. Regardless of your location, you can conveniently receive 6DO Brief via email. News breaks, buzz the ground, stories spit, walls come down, voices merge in the cell, faces mix in the crowd. Broadcasters paint the scene, world events on our screen, every link a different theme, words collide in the stream. Six degrees connect the dots, background stories Day by day, hidden truths come to play In the background shades of grey, every story finds its way I go, or train Billy, or do not. Or do not to be you, if I think it ever. Or do not, and after, or do not, and after, or do not, and after, not enough, 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 and after,